Rob Hyacin grew up here in South Florida. He started his career at the Palm Beach Post in the late 80s. He moved around a bit and he wound up in Maryland. But as his wife told the large crowd tonight, he liked to say it didn't matter where they lived, wherever his wife was, wherever his children were, that was his home. Dear family and friends of Rob Hyacin, affectionately dubbed our big Rob, welcome. They thought 200 might show up, and then about 500 people squeezed into a tent at a Maryland Nature Center to remember Big Rob. He was 6'5", so it makes sense. But also, he had a really, really big heart. Rob Hyacin was once a reporter at the Palm Beach Post. He was one of five people killed when a gunman attacked the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis last Thursday. That final act cannot and will not be what defines our Rob. I want to just remember what a wonderful person Rob was and what a great, wonderful, selfless life he led. They called this service a celebration of life. Friends and family shared stories, not to make you cry, but to make you smile. If he were talking in my ear right now, he'd say, make, make the people laugh if you can. And they did laugh, but they also cried, mourning for a man who was large and larger than life. My dad is my best friend. He is my hero. He is my strength. He is the purest form of happiness I've ever felt in my life. He was destined to be a father. I know that I'm destined to be a father because he was such a fantastic role model for me. Father's Day, I signed the card. Luckiest woman in the world because he was my best friend. And Rob's children also tonight spoke about journals that he wrote for each of them, random thoughts of them he wrote down as they grew up. Each child has one of those journals. They call it the perfect record of his love for his children.